you've never seen these. This is a Norwex veggie cloth and it's got kind of rough stuff on one side and microfiber on the other. And I can wet this cloth with very little water and then when I clean my potatoes, I can use the rough side. We'll kind of get the peel off or in this case, these are pre-washed. I just flip it over to the microfiber side and then I can, I can wipe them off this way. And that microfiber is gonna get 99.9% .9 of everything off of there, so. And then that's a nice clean potato and it's ready to go. So if you're trying to conserve water in your camper, that's a great tip. And I'm gonna make steak and potatoes. These are just a little fingerling potatoes. I really like these private selection from probably about six potatoes packed up into bite-sized pieces. You want to try to get them as even as you can so that they cook evenly. And then I like to throw just a tiny bit of oil in my pan, not a whole lot. Just helps them brown. And then I'll throw my potatoes in. People do steak and potatoes very, very differently. This is just how I like to do it. Uh, Lowry's garlic powder. This has a little bit of uh, parsley in it, which is nice. Take a little bit of that in there. It's a nice flavor. I like a little bit of thyme. Oof, maybe not that much. Just a little bit. That's thyme. I can save time in a bottle. That's a joke. And then this is a little bit of rosemary. Don't need a whole bunch, that's probably plenty. When I'm using dried herbs, I rub them between my fingers and my thumb. That releases the oils that, that are in there. And then of course, a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, sometimes I'll use seasoned salt. Sometimes I don't use the rosemary and the thyme. Sometimes I just do my trinity. Seasoned salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. And sometimes that's good. But tonight, I just wanted to be a little fancy. I like to be fancy. Now, I don't want to cook these completely. I just want to get them going. I just want to help them kind of start. I'm going to finish these in the oven. I got my propane oven nice and hot. I've got it set on about 425. And I've got these sizzling and they're getting going pretty good. So I'm going to turn the stove top off and pop these in the oven. Whew. Can you hear them? Hear them sizzling? Got a nice brown on them. It didn't take very long if the oven turned up nice and hot. I'm gonna try to get the get them all kind of so they're facing down so they can keep browning. Like my potatoes a little bit crispy. There you go. So I'm gonna pop these back in, and since they're almost done, I'm gonna go ahead and start the steak. Okay. I want a screaming hot pan. Screaming hot because I want to sear the meat. And I'm going to cook them in a little bit of butter and olive oil. So, something you can do is extend your temperature of your butter because you know butter burns at a lower temp. So, if you mix it with a higher temp oil, you can extend the temperature that you can cook with it in. So, once your pan gets hot, add your olive oil, then throw your butter in and let it melt. And that will allow your butter to cook at a higher temperature. Back to that garlic powder. Little S&P. Once 
want that pan to be screaming hot. Getting close. I'm going to try something a little different tonight. And I'm going to throw some tarragon in there. I just thought tarragon sounded... Oh, I love tarragon. It's got kind of a licorice -y flavor to it. I don't use it very often. But I thought I might throw some in with my steak tonight. I mean, couldn't hurt, could it? I'm not going to do anything fancy to it. I'm just going to throw it in like that and flavor my butter. And then I'm going to baste my steak with um, the flavored butter. Okay, that's pretty hot now, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. A little olive oil. I'm about to, this is probably way too much, but butter's starting to get brown in there, that's fine. Brown butter's delicious, but burnt butter is not. steaks one time. Get them good and seared on one side. You could do this with fresh thyme, fresh rosemary, some say any fresh herbs that you have just about. You could throw in here and herb your steak up. It's so tasty. I'll pull them off and just going to flip these. Get them nice sear on there. Get some sort of on this side.
Good Lord, it smells good. Let's get those nice and done on the other side, and then we'll be ready to serve. Guys, look at that steak. Oh my goodness. Perfect medium rare. Yummy crispy potatoes. That's good eating. Okay guys, see you next time.